There we go. <laughs> All right, we are off in the woods today. We're going fishing at an undisclosed location. Um, I haven't actually tried this spot myself. I know of it um, due to um, paddling. But yeah, this is going to be a bit of an adventure today because uh, I was on this river this week, got a huge number of coho, ended up with uh, 25 coho in one day. However, only two of them were hatchery. So today I am back on the river. It's unfortunately a weekend. Um, I should have thought about this ahead of time, but I forgot. Well, I wasn't paying attention to the fact. And uh, yeah, when I showed up to the river, every single parking spot and road spot was taken. Um, they did get up late today. I didn't fall asleep till super late last night. And so now I am finding alternative routes. So that's what we're doing today. Um, I've already fished areas of this river in this area and I'm hoping to get down to uh, a bar that I know about. Well, hopefully it's still there. Who knows with how the river flooded last year, but uh, yeah, off we go. And as I'm going down this trail, it looks like uh, they've got it marked for clear cutting again, which would be nice, I think. Anyways, I gotta pull my map out and uh, I'll talk to you guys when I'm down the river. All right, I'm just coming down to the river now. I've already seen some fish down there. I don't know if they're chum or coho, um, but that was a steep. I'm not looking forward to going back up that. I might actually try to hike down and then back up a different route because, I mean, I just worked myself around actual cliffs. Actual cliffs, so bonus. I have the river to myself in this area. Not so much of a bonus. It's a pretty terrible hike out and in and there's only so many fish anyways gotta get down there gotta find a way down there gotta keep going i think that away all right so we're getting down there it looks like it's a mix of chum and coho you can see some down there there's some over there so we're doing okay um and i'll be able to go up and down river to a couple different spots and see what i can find but we're gonna start down near the tail end of the pool work our way up not to spook the fish so I gotta get down that, which is like 45 degrees. Get myself set up and start pitching some lures. I think I'm gonna start off with some small spinners and then we'll maybe switch up to some twitching jigs. Anyhow, I love this place, it's gorgeous. Beautiful clear water. And uh, let's get down there and fish. Just when I turned the camera off, we got one on. So I gotta turn this camera off and deal with them. All right, I didn't film the first one, but this is the second fish of the day. Just a beauty. What colors, just gorgeous. It's hatchery marked, as you see. The other one's far more silver than this. That actually doesn't any spots whatsoever. Um, but what a gorgeous fish. Yep, that's a keeper. Here's the two fish so far. About the same size, both male. Actually, this one's a bit thicker, a bit chunkier. Also, I mean, check out the difference in the patterning. Quite amazing. Um, yeah, gorgeous fish. It's uh, now mid-November, so yeah, they're getting a bit colored, but man, they're still quite nice fish. Still a couple silvers in there, but uh, yeah, really liking this. And we are just in such a beautiful setting here. Um, I'm in a bit of slow section here. You can see the fish down there. They're the dark spots. They're littered all over there. All right, just getting this guy in here. Let's see if I can do this with the camera in the hand. Nice little hat tree. Oh, no, not quite yet, done yet. Okay, let me see. Rod down, 
line. This guy go quickly. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Here we go. What a beauty fish. Nice cromer. Right at the top. I'm gonna let him go here. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. Okay, <laughs> we got him here. I'm gonna see if I can rest the phone on a rock or something. This is a nice fish. Yeah, about a six pounder. So I better get this guy in before I lose him. All right, and we are done for the day. We got our four coho. They're all in the uh, four to five pound range. That one's probably about five. And the rest of them are like four, four and a half. I haven't, don't weigh them, but they're in that category. I know, I've caught enough of them. Um, not big fish by any means, but decent. And uh, I actually tossed back a couple smaller ones um, that were kind of in the three pound range. And uh, yeah, so good day today. You can see they're colored up already because uh, it's, you know, mid-November. Yeah, enjoyed my day. I got to head back. Got a crossover up there. It's shallow enough and cross back over and then probably head back up that slope um because it'd probably be easier than the way i came anyhow that's uh what i got for you today but i will tell you i caught these on twitching jigs and spinners um that's all i ended up using and it worked just fine if i can i'll get some more video of the fish as i head out um i might not be able to i because i don't want to walk all the way back up there to the ones but there's fish there you'll see them you see them or you don't good day fishing all right, we're just walking out now, back on the logging road. And I got four fish. They're all pretty close to the same size, like within half an inch of each other, except for one larger one. It's about an inch and a half bigger. Anyways, it was a good day. Um, definitely was a hike in, definitely was worth it. And there wasn't a single other person, which is a bonus, considering today is insanely busy on the river. There was no parking anywhere down lower. That made me go, I'm going to go spend some time hiking down some old forestry service roads to find a spot to myself. And I did. And it was worth it. I think I got uh, nine fish total, a couple jacks, some smaller ones. All of them were hatchery. So I found all of the hatchery fish. All the wild ones are down low apparently because earlier this week, a few days ago, I got 25 fish down low and only two of them were hatchery. The rest were all wild and the wild ones were like double the size of the hatchery ones and when it was coming out one of the uh, fisheries researchers actually told me the reason is they're checking the fish and it seems that they're only three years old instead of four years old so for some reason they came back a year early and they don't know why or they didn't know why to tell me at least so that would explain the size discrepancy would have been nice if they were the size of the uh, wild ones because a lot of the wild ones we're catching were seven, eight, nine pounds. They were good sized fish. Anyways, I'm almost back to the truck. It's getting a little bushwhacky. So I'm gonna end it there, breathing hard. Cause I got like 20 pounds of fish in my backpack. Oh. Anyhow, I'm Chris. This is Farm Shop Projects. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.